Picture this. You're taken to a hospital for treatment by your relatives. But after you recover, you come to a shocking reality that the only family left behind for you are doctors, nurses, and fellow patients in wards. This is the story of close to 22 patients who are still stuck at the Kenyatta National Hospital because they have nowhere to go. Enoxicolia has more. A gentle feeling of fondness between Kevin Kiprono, a nursing intern at the Kenyatta National Hospital, and Kefas Kaimeni, an 11-month-old boy abandoned at the facility by his parents. So tight has been their bond since Kefa's mother walked out of this hospital never to be seen again. Confined to a wheelchair, Kiprono and other nurses at the Kenyatta National Hospital have been the closest thing it comes to having a family for the entire time he has lived. He was abandoned by the mother at birth due to a condition called uh, hydrocephalus. Since the abandoned time we have been with Kefas, we do all the, all the care that a normal baby needs. With some time, if, if Kefas can get uh, the normal care of a baby, the milestone can be improved. Even you see now, the, even the size of the head at least, at least reduced. Is we, we, the hospital went into place a shunt on its head to drain the, whatever the fluid that is there into the stomach. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of his mother? Uh, about the parent or anyone who is coming around to come and maybe try to claim about the baby, I can, it's negative. No one has ever been around there. They have been with the baby, it's almost like a year with him. So it's like I've never seen the mother for like also a year. The Ken H management says cases of parents abandoning their children after birth are so common here. Their relatives never come forward to identify them because some of them, they come from, uh, from uh, communities that believe that disability is a curse, disability is out of witchcraft. This is just one of the problems the facility is grappling with. Quite a number of unidentified and abandoned patients from road accident victims, those with mental illness, and those that accumulate huge medical bills remain stuck here, despite Kenneth writing off their medical bills to allow them go home. They have nowhere to go. Some can't remember the location they come from, while others fear going back to their relatives who dumped them at the facility in the first place. Caroline Duta, who is epileptic, was reportedly brought here by her sisters, who disappeared after she was hospitalized. James Mwangi was brought here after being involved in a road accident. He tells us he has been here for three months now and seems to remember where he comes from. We must do our investigations to make sure that where you say you come from is actually where you come from. Because some people have got different fashions because of some mental lapse. According to the Kenyatta National Hospital, the number of patients who get stuck after being discharged due to unidentification is increasing with each passing day. The hospital says this is overstretching its services. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.